Okay, so I'm out here today with Jeff. Um, no, not yeah. yeah, Jeff. I think it was your brother for a minute. Yeah. Anyway, we're hitting this house of a client of his. It's a 40s home probably. But today we found a little wheat back. Found a 29, wasn't it? Yep. 29 mercury dime. And then I found this old thing. I'm hoping that's a token, but it might just be a washer. But it looks like it's brass. But I just got a signal. I went over the yard here a minute ago and went one way and I was coming back at a different angle to go to the other side of the yard I heard a deep signal and it's this right here you can see that edge right there and I think oh it's just a dime but it's a another Merc isn't it no it's a yeah it's a Merc another Mercury head dime <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a quarter though it sounds kind of quarterish but second silver of the year Okay, so I just in here in the backyard or the side yard. I just got kind of a shallow signal. Almost didn't dig up, but it is. Oh, let me put it right there. It's a dog tag from Pleasant Grove. It says 1231.63, I believe, on it. So that was kind of cool. I'm glad I dug that signal. Okay, so this is really cool. This thing I just found. Um, sounded like a, it's going to be a silver quarter or something. But instead... That's not focusing very well. I think it's an old dog tag, or not dog tag, a cow tag. And it says, I think it says Pleasant Grove, 1925, Wasatch on it. So it's probably like an old rancher's cattle ear um, tag for, for a cow. Okay, so I was just right here and I got a, it was a 1241 signal, I think. And I dug this plug right here and I pulled out this little Chinese coin. So I don't know, I'll have to date and find out what, what year that is, but it's got to be 1800s at least. So and that's kind of cool, finding these in Utah, it's always random, but... And then Jeff's got another signal, oh, there's a pull tab right there. Okay, so this is Ryan, I just got back from my hunt and cleaned up my finds. So I thought I'd kind of check them out real quick. So I did find this 1963 Pleasant Grove dog tag, it's dated 1231 of 63. I found this Pleasant Grove 1925 Wasatch. I think it's a cow tag. Um, it's made of aluminum, so it's kind of cool. Found a 1929S Mercury dime, a 1941S Mercury dime. Found this old copper button. I think it's from the 1800s, I don't know. It's got that interesting shank on the back. So I don't know what, what year that was dated. Um, I found this mystery brass item. I don't know exactly what it is. Uh, maybe it's part of an old card. It's got threaded on, it's threaded on the bottom and has a nut on it And then it has that interesting shape and then as though something went through right here This is another mystery kind of brass item. I think over here by this window light I don't know if you can see that it's got some patterning on the side. It looks like it had some rubber tubing in the middle of it and then as you can see the side is also Got a pattern on it. So anyway, I don't know what that was too. And then I've got this other thing. I'm not sure if this is part to a watch or part to a music box or maybe just a piece of junk. I don't know. I'll probably end up just recycling that. And then I've got this old Chinese coin, which is really cool. Um, let me come over here to this window light again. So, I'm not sure what way is right. I think that's the right way. So anyway, that's the patterning on it. I'll have to go look that up online to see what year that is. But I found that out in Pleasant Grove, just behind an old house in a junky old lot. So that was kind of cool, it was about four inches down, maybe three inches down. Rang up at 1241, if I remember right. And I got this uh, 1945 penny, 1947 S penny. And then I also found this other button. And then this thing called a thin dime play coin. When I popped that out of the plug, I thought for sure I had a trime initially, so I was super excited to find something like that, but it turns out it was just a play coin, a play dime. So I find these occasionally in people's yards, just old play money from probably the 50s or something. So anyway, that was all my finds today. Um, it was a pretty good day. Went out with my friend Jeff, and uh, he was nice enough to take me along to this permission that he has. It was a 1940s home, so finding these older items here was kind of interesting. The Chinese coin and the 1925 cow tag and the 29 dime. Um, but I think it 
probably used to be an old camp or something maybe back in the day. It's located about two blocks away from an old fort that was down there in Pleasant Grove. So anyway, uh, happy hunting. Hope you guys are finding good stuff as well.